Well, Angola certainly have uh, made their mark on African basketball over the years, winning numerous titles, playing at Olympic Games, FIBA Basketball World Cups. Uh, but they're just like everybody else. They got to go through qualifying to get to the big tournaments. And today uh, starts their journey to uh, the FIBA AfroBasket. Uh, they have to take on Mozambique. Now, they'll also be in action tomorrow, as you can see, up against Kenya, whereas Mozambique will take on Senegal. Senegal already winning uh, today 92 to 54 over Kenya in a game that was uh, tight, just six points at the end of the third quarter. And then Kenya really uh, went off the rails in the fourth quarter and scored just a couple points, and Senegal just ran away for a big victory. So Angola uh, always at the party. And uh, well, a little bit of uh, upheaval. You can see Angola at number 32 uh, with the FIBA World Ranking presented by Nike. Senegal at number 35. Mozambique at number 93. And Kenya, who had to go through the pre-qualifying to play uh, down uh, in the 100, so 122. So it's. Uh, not that much of a difference between Angola and Senegal. And of course, when those two teams play, that is going to be a, a humdinger. But we're really excited to watch this one because Mozambique like to get up and down the floor and play uh, very exciting basketball. They will uh, they will be a test. Uh, certainly, they will give Angola. We would anticipate uh, a good run for their money, especially early on. This is a team that has played uh, against the big teams of Africa, played at FIBA AfroBaskets and they will not back down uh, from anybody. So uh, exciting uh, moment for them and uh, for them to be able to get out here and compete against Angola, one of the true uh, powerhouses of African basketball for many, many years. Mozambique certainly have not scaled the heights uh, as Angola have, but uh, on their day, they can be a very dangerous opponent for anybody. Milagre McCormick, the coach, and uh, he will have his charges ready to go tonight against Angola, who have just had uh, some new elections uh, at their federation, and also, uh, at least for this tournament, uh, they've decided to go uh, with a team uh, coached by Jose De Neto, um, uh, which is, it primarily uh, consists of Atletico Petroleos. So that is uh, that is the the team. Uh, there's Carlos Morais. and you'll notice a lot of players. Uh, that you've seen before in international competition. Jose Neto, of course, uh, actually we saw him most recently in international basketball coaching the Brazil women's team at the FIBA Women's Olympic Qualifying Tournament in Borge. And that was uh, back, I think it was back in March and before the coronavirus pandemic obviously uh, disrupted uh, not only sports but the entire world. And uh, here he is now coaching in Angola and also coaching uh, this Angola national team for this window. So this is certainly uh, something to keep an eye on as we move forward. So uh, again, this, this Angola team, Olympia Cipriano, uh, Carlos Moraes, uh, Lionel Paolo, uh, Jacques Conceição, um, Valdelithia, Joaquim, all, all of these players have, have played in big tournaments, and it's going to be exciting to watch them. Now the players uh, have gone out to line up at midcourt, and we're going to pause for the playing of the national anthems.
Okay, the national anthems have been played. Of course, a very sad day uh, in African basketball, and especially Tunisian basketball, international basketball. Former Tunisian Basketball Federation president Abdur Rauf uh, Manjour passed away suddenly. Um, uh, that was back, in fact, on November 9th, but uh, it's been recognized today. You see the referees, uh, Same Estafanos, Amir Abulu, and uh, Wael Ibrahim Mohamed Mosta from Egypt, so an all Egyptian refereeing crew. Uh, but that announcement has been made, uh, obviously, today, the opening day of the African qualifiers. Um, Manjour was 80 years old. He was the honorary president of FIBA Africa since 2019 General Assembly in Bamako, Mali. Mozambique will go with Kendall Manuel, uh, David Canavete, Orlando Novela, Elton Ubise, and Custurio. Excuse me, Custurio Moshate. And uh, let's see what Jose Neto starts with here. Coach of Mozambique. So Frangola, it'll be the veteran Olympias, Olympio uh, Cipriano, Chile Dundao, Lionel Paolo, Abu Bakar, Bacal, and Baudelicio Joaquim. And also, uh, what a luxury to have those guys coming off the bench. Uh, Morais, Gonzalez, Pedro, Pedro da Silva, and Antonio. And uh, Jose Neto, uh, genuinely a very nice man, person, obviously uh, strong links being Brazilian to uh, the Brazilian uh, Confederation and uh, has been there, you know, has led some big time games. And I think right now they are recognizing uh, the late Manjur. So folks, uh, it's been a very difficult 2020, make no mistake, uh, with the coronavirus pandemic especially. And uh, because, of, uh, because of that and safety concerns, there are no fans. Uh, however, it's important that the show goes on and uh, an extraordinary effort has been made around the world by FIBA, by the federations, by the host, by the clubs, all these players. Uh, to make sure they're healthy and we're having these games in bubbles and uh, we're glad to bring you the action. Well, good evening, folks, and hello again from uh, the Kigali Arena in Kigali, Rwanda, in East Africa. Fantastic, beautiful place. That'll be the, the venue uh, for the Afro Basket. That'll be staged next summer. And we're on the way. Uh, Angola and Mozambique. Angola winning the opening tip. And you see the, uh, the ageless 38-year-old uh, Olympia Cipriano. Ball goes over, and it's Mozambique basketball, so uh, they will have a chance to strike first. Second game of the day earlier. Uh, we watched uh, Senegal pull away from Kenya in the fourth quarter for a resounding win. Kenya did very well for three quarters, but then just went off the rails over the last 10 minutes. Scored just two points. Uh, coming right out, stroking it is uh, Kendall Manuel from Mozambique. Manuel, a high-level player, played at Oregon State, also uh, Montana, as recently as this year, in fact. So he's uh, right at the start 
of a promising career. Second team, all big sky. And there was a foul, so you would imagine he has a lot to offer. Uh, tw just 23 years of age. And you can never have too much talent. And uh, big thing will be fitting into this team. And here's another uh, long jump shot. Target. Cipriano brings it across midcourt. Hands it off to his teammate. And the turnover. Gave it off to Ben Dow. It's Cipriano, and that was the Mozambique defense. Ball goes out of bounds. Lionel Paolo saw him at the World Cup. Goes and gets to basketball. Ball goes out of bounds. Remember, it was uh, Angola, the first team to face the the, uh, the dream team back at the 1992 Olympics. They had that distinction, and now the air ball, and it'll be possession to Mozambique. So Will Voigt was the coach of Angola and uh, obviously an excellent coach, led Nigeria to the FIBA Afro Basket title in 2015, coached him at the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, coached Angola at the World Cup last year. They did a good job. There's Manuel stroking another jump shot and uh, for Mozambique, uh, but again, with uh, just for this window at least, they've decided Angola to to go with uh, a change with Neto, and we'll see what happens down the future. I don't think anything official has been announced long term. And well, nice pass down low. Day of all the continental qualifiers, the first uh, chance to get to see this uh, uh, new system of competition, at least for this window, in Africa. This is uh, all eyes on Africa today, two games. Baseline, the pass down low. And again, uh, good job, uh, Badalithia Joaquim coming up with a block and then driving all the way in and scoring. Uh, was uh, Childe Dundao. Three point shot off the back of the iron. And the duck, and the basket is good, so. Uh, the basket is good by Abu Bakar Gakao, and it's uh, six to four now in favor of Angola. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay at this end. Three-point shot is good. So back in front now, Canavete is uh, Mozambique. Canavete stroking it.
Carlos Morais enters the basketball game. Lynn El Paolo goes out. Rice chases down the ball, passes it. Cipriano with the pass down low. Joaquin, or rather, uh, Abu Bakar Gakao misses. Here's Manuel again. Now looking to run. Nowhere to go. Pass it back to Cipriano. And picking it up and scoring the loose ball, Cacao. Turnover now, and it's uh, Gakao again getting a lot of touches in this game. A little bit of a shoot, a little bit of a herky jerky start here. Got a timeout, 4:47 remaining in this opening quarter, with Angola up eight to seven. Try to listen into the coaches. So really, we got half of the uh, the roster here, uh, Frangola, that played at the FIBA Basketball World Cup last year. Cipriano, Jacques Consasau in the game now, number 15. Vadalithio Joaquim, Carlos Morais, Jose Antonio, Gonsalves also, and Leonel Paolo. So that might be a seven, actually. But anyway, uh, and some other new faces. Here's Marais hitting a three-pointer. That's what he does. Former FIBA Afrobasket MVP. Remains uh, that elite player in African basketball. Here is uh, Consasau challenging the pass. Now driving, penetrating, and taking the bump. The foul from uh, Valdelithio Joaquim. Former Hawaii Rainbow Warrior. So free throws now for Mozambique. And Elcio Shire makes the first. So that's his first point of the game. Four points so far for Kendall Manuel. Need to get the other guys involved and Shede makes the second.
Going off one foot is Olympia Cipriano. So he makes it. And stretches the lead to 13 to 9. Jose Neto has to be happy over on the bench uh, for Angola. At least getting their noses in front. See if they can press home the advantage. Here's uh, Mozambique. Now Angola looking to push it a little quicker, but then they step out of bounds. Boy, that is a bad turnover, Cipriano. It's incredible that Cipriano, 38 years of age, in the starting lineup for Angola. Now, long jump shot is good. Piu Matos. Piu Matos in the game, the, one of the veterans, and drills it. So. Canivete comes back into the game and Manuel goes out for Mozambique. Marais from the other side hits the top of the backboard. Now the drive and the dish and the basket is good. So chalk up the assist to Piu Matos, and Canavete gets another another basket. Shot by Jacques Concesal, short. So shaky start here for uh, for Angola, uh, but equally shaky for Mozambique. And for the second time in about the last minute and a half, the same spot, Angola step out of bounds. Here's the drive and Denied Canevete. Uh, Pedro getting in the way. Nowhere to go, and shot clock violation for Mozambique. Pedro passes it back out to the perimeter. Concesal, pump fake. Gets his man off the ground. So the foul called on Pio Matos. Well, getting it inside and shooting over the rim. Not good. And Manuel back in the game. It's an over and back violation. What it must be like to have those roots of uh, Mo being Mozambican, growing up in America, and knowing you're going to have a chance to play for uh, the Mozambique national team to come and experience this. Obviously, the, the fans aren't here, so the, the environment not as special as it normally would be, but nevertheless, must be a great honor. The three-point shot is good. Drilled by Jose Antonio. The lefty. Angola, 16-13. Go, 
Now the three-point shot by Manuel, a little bit perhaps uh, early. Not much ball movement in that Mozambique deep, uh, offense. And here they just uh, beat Angola down the floor and missed the layup, the Snowbird. Wide open shot again, Jose Antonio this time. Short. Well, on this evidence so far, I, I'd say, Ken, you're going to have a good chance against both of these teams. Uh, they're not having a great first quarter here. The scrapping away down low. Ball goes out of bounds. It's kind of Ete that had the shot blocked by Carlos Morais on that play. Final seconds, ticking off the clock in the first quarter. Concesao alley oop, and boy, the shot was there, but was missed by Pedro. And now the final seconds, Manuel needs to launch it. He knows he puts it up, but it's a little too long. And Angola, well. Hasn't been necessarily pretty, but they lead it 16 to 13 at the end of one. Here again is the missed alley oop by Jean Lopez Pedro. 16 to 13, and goal on top of Mozambique after one. So the early numbers you see uh, Mozambique especially struggling down low uh, in Angola a little bit better. So here's some of the early plays. And we'll got out to a good start tonight. And that was a nice finish for Angola. In fact, it was uh, by Childe Dildao. Very scrappy game. Cacao getting the offensive rebound and put back. Here was. Carlos Marais catching and shooting. And that was a nice teamwork. Nice play as well by Mozambique. And Carlos Marais with the block of Canavete. Well, these are the feedback for basket qualifiers. And the next ones will be in February. So uh, the action never stops. Mozambique inbounding the basketball and really one more thought on Will Voigt uh, not here coaching and this is nothing against Jose Neto but if in fact Will Voigt is available uh, to coach and I was a national team I would be like that like white on rice he is an excellent coach um, might be interesting to see Will Voigt at the helm of a Euro te European team. Or a team in Asia. He will definitely uh, be back. Carlos Morais puts it up from deep. Mozambique having pulled within one. Mozambique. Oh, a little bit out of control. Lower the shoulder, and the charge has been called. Consasau getting into position. 
Pio Matos made the right decision and uh, Canavete. I think he forced the issue just a little bit. Three point shot. If it goes, it'd be the second, but it did not. So Jose Antonio. He's definitely a threat for Angola. Pulling up nicely, but only white shirts under for the rebound. And uh, again, just sloppy play by Angola. Ball goes out of bounds off the hands of Conceição. Matos. Carlos Morais spins, drives in. Oh boy. He's got the quality, doesn't he? He's strong. Able to finish with the left hand. Remember, he had that great Afro basket for Angola. He had that trial with the Toronto Raptors. Now, there was a lot of uh, expectation, but he uh, ended up coming back to Angola. There's Leonel Paolo. Oh, no, excuse me. That was um, uh, uh, Nelson Oshire. And quickly to the other end now is uh, Carlos Moraes. So Angola back up by three. Not sure what's, uh, what's wrong with Paolo. He hasn't been in the game. Since he, since he left. Carlos <laughs> Marais proving to be a handful. And well, mid range. Well, just give him the green light. When he's open, he's shooting it. Six points for Manuel. Three point shot. And lots of uh, red shirts under the basket, but Joan Lopez Pedro winning the day for Angola. And then the foul. That's going to be Mozambique basketball. No, excuse me, they did call the foul Mozambique. So the foul was on Manuel. I guess it's understandable you'd have a slow start the first game. Although Neto has a lot of the players that he coaches at club level. Second shot is uh, is missed. Stepping out of bounds, the ball goes back to Angola. So a lot of these players, as well as Coach Neto with uh, uh, Petro de Luanda, Atletico Petroleos de Luanda, and they've had a, a great start in Angola, 13-1. There's Valdelicio Joaquim, one of the Petro players and now the ball turned over so another chance for Angola T 
timeout on the court. Angola leading at 23 to 19. Three and a half minutes into the second quarter. All right, she inbounds the basketball. Daunde and well, Delicio. Dundao, good penetration, uh, but just does not look smooth really for either of these teams at this moment. Kafash in the game, number 21 for Mozambique. Also, Elton Ubise, their number nine. Side to Manuel. Now Angola. And Marais, all 35 years old of him, and just puts it up and in. I mean, he's 35, but he looks like he's 25. He looks strong, fit, healthy. Manuel fouled. So Dundal picks up another one, another foul. That was Marais at the other end. There's Manuel for three. That's good. Wow. What a weapon. I mean, really, you know, Mozambique aren't running any any think brilliantly on offense but when you got a guy that can put the ball in the basket like him keeps the scoreboard ticking over and well has eight points this time he loses it out of bounds Delithia Joaquin passes it back outside. Cacao shows the rage. Look at him. Woo. He says his hand is hot.
Three point shot good and takes it up to 28 to 21. Right at the line. And Manjate. Jeremias Manjate off target. Here comes Angola, but that will not count. And for the first time tonight, you feel like Angola might be ready to put some distance, more distance between themselves and Mozambique. Well, if he's going to hit that, he might as well take another one. This is the FIBA Afro Basket 2021 qualifier between Angola and Mozambique. And Dundal loses control of the basketball, goes out of bounds. <laughs> 22 years of age, Dundal, just 1.72 meters in height. Obviously, uh, Big moment for him to be able to play in this game. Now he takes a charge. So Manuel picks up the foul, trying to post up Dundal. It's a missed opportunity. Second foul, Manuel is two, so you got to watch it. You don't want to pick up a third. Joaquim goes in. Doesn't really go strong to the basket. Nice handoff. Adelithio Joaquim chirping away, I think, wanting a foul at the other end, but he's not going to get it. So Majate. Mozambique, the well is uh, is dry right now. They, they've scored eight points in the second quarter. They were right there. And really, you feel like Angola have a chance to really uh, open up a lead. Oh, Cipriano just loses the basketball out of bounds. Sorry, folks, having some camera issues here. Okay, so Angola have it. Dundao drives in, hung in the air. Ball goes, well, they're going to say a jump ball, but certainly not a, a work of art, this basketball game so far in the first half. Angola leading it 28 21. Nice handoff down low. Now the pass goes outside. Short, but there for the follow. So uh, Jeremias Manjate with the putback. And the bump and the foul, so free throw is coming for Cipriano. And 
he misses with his first attempt. Second one is good. Kind of they asking the referee to dry the ball off. You know, we've talked about this for a while. I mean, Angola up several points, maybe with a chance to open up a, a bigger lead, but they have not done so. And Mozambique, they can get a, a two or three here. That was a dangerous pass. That was a telegraph pass. How in the world it was not intercepted is beyond me. They end up with a baseline jumper. And they miss, and now it leads to a wide open break and the two handed jam by Lionel Paolo. And now another wide open one, and uh, well, just gifting points to Angola at this stage. Again, another chance and another two points, and all of a sudden, Angola have opened it up to a double digit lead. They're up 35 23 in Mozambique. Wow. Give away three layups, including that one. Getting it down low, and I'll tell you what, that's a good good plan when you're struggling a little bit. Make the commitment to get the ball inside. So instead, Elton Ubise goes to the line. He's got enough from. Uh, Joan Lopez Pedro is fouled, so he makes the first. Mozambique like to cup, shave a couple of baskets off this uh, deficit before halftime if they could. Zubise only makes one of two. Some medical uh, attention going for the rebound. So stoppage in play with 112 remaining. May have called an elbow, but he was being boxed out cleanly by Pedro. Looks like he may have gotten some blood, so they're going to give him the treatment on the court. 
Watch, he's going to push Pedro, try to get inside and get the rebound, and then he catches an elbow. What? Again, here, maybe a better angle here. Watch. Oh, yeah, he definitely got an elbow. But on the other hand, he was uh, he was doing the pushing, trying to get into position. So it was Canavete who goes out. And they actually called the foul on Pedro. Seems a bit harsh. But anyway, Manuel comes in and will take the first free throw and make it. So Angola will now, I think anyway, come up and get into position. So really it ends up being a break for Mozambique. Manuel takes Canavete out. Manuel gets back in the game, goes to the line, and makes two free throws. And it's back to a single, de single uh, digit deficit 35 26. So, timeout on the floor. So, the game has sort of ground to a standstill. Shooting numbers are far better for Angola, not surprisingly, but even so, both teams really struggling from deep. So play resumes out of the timeout. Angola, see if they can uh, execute something. 35 26. Leno Paolo been pretty quiet, hands it off to a cutting uh, Cipriano, and he scores. Now, another chance to run, and this is where Angola have really done the damage in this second quarter getting out on the break. They're going to give it the baseline. They're surrounded and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll Stay at this end, but with only 1.2 seconds to go. And now Mozambique will call timeout. I'm not sure what Jose Neto was complaining about over on that bench but he was certainly complaining about something. Sixteen point eight seconds remain. The fact that it was Jose Neto that got the timeout.
Okay, what kind of play? In some respects, he might have done uh, Mozambique a favor, though, calling a timeout and letting him draw up a play to see if they can get something. 13 points down. Well, the answer to that is no. And now an unsportsmanlike as well has been called on Mozambique. On Jeremiah Manjate, the pass was intended for him. And it was good effort by Gakao, who's been one of the better players. So he is fouled after forcing the turnover, but misses the free throw. Remember, he hit that three pointer. So he makes one of two and Angola maintain possession. Up 14 points. And really it's those fast break points that have been the difference in the second quarter. 17 fast break points in all for Angola. And just two for Mozambique. Now Mozambique have just enough time to try to get something. To get it, the three point shot, and off the back of the iron. And that's how it finishes. Here again, look and see if there's any goal interference. Woo. That's a clear goal interference. That was one that was missed. <laughs> oh, God. Guess they didn't see it. I was, I could make that call easily. 40 to 26, Angola leading it over Mozambique. Well, Angola, courtesy of those layups there in the second quarter, now shooting 64%. Mozambique, far worse. Mozambique are out rebounding Angola, but it matters little. They're not getting many second chance points. And Skakal with 10 points, Cipriano and Marais with nine apiece. Manuel has 10 points for Mozambique. Here's a look at some of the first half highlights from both of these teams and just trying to uh, identify a stat that might well probably this is an interesting stat uh, 13 turnovers for Mozambique that is way too many and Angola have really capitalized. 18 points off those turnovers and again then when you look at the 17 fast break points uh, most of those were after the turnovers and that is the game that is how they have been able to build their lead so that pressure uh, because in the half court neither team has really uh, done that great tonight. Looking at another another stat, Mozambique with uh, with the ten offensive rebounds, yet they've only got four second chance points. So you know, the rebounding, despite out rebounding Angola, they haven't really capitalized, and, and really not much to speak of coming from the bench. Just 10 points off the bench for for uh, Mozambique. Cipriano has been good. I mean, he's been okay. Uh, four of six from the floor. 
Nine points, three rebounds. But let's talk about Kendall Allen Manuel, the, uh, the young man coming out and making a mark tonight. I think it's going to be an enormous challenge for him to, to carry this team to victory, but he certainly has come out and given them uh, some scoring punch. He's got the 10 points. And and the man that's done it for Angola is number 13, Gakao, who has not only scored on drives to the basket, but he has uh, hit a three-pointer, his only three-pointer of the night. This was him catching it low and scoring. He's got 10 points, a couple of rebounds. I'm sure his three pointer is the one that he's most happy with. This one, oh no, excuse me, not that one. Uh, maybe he might like the offensive rebound and put back. This was him for the three. No hesitation. Watch his hands after he makes it. Watch this. A hot hand. Hey, they will go coast to coast and have it swatted away by Williams Navas. The floating pass, and there's a big finish by Thompson. Spin. Oh, nice little fake gets the defender to turn their head, and the score for a Sam. An old school move from him.
40-26 and goal on top of Mozambique in this FIBA AfroBasket 2021 qualifier at the uh, Kigali Arena. It's the second game of the day earlier, uh, Senegal won 92 to 54 over Kenya. And that was uh, quite a game in and of itself. Uh, Kenya hung tough and only trailed by six points at the end of the third quarter and then just nothing went right for the Morons after that. They were outscored 34 to two in the fourth quarter and hence the uh, 38 point margin of victory for Senegal. So uh, you know the aim is to finish in the top three of the qualifying group to be able to go to the FIBA Afro basket. Uh, these teams will be playing in this window and then they will play again in February. Uh, Kenya will not be a team that anybody uh, should take lightly. You see Kakao with those 10 points leading the way for Angola tonight. But you know, they could be dangerous. I think they could be dangerous against either of these two teams. Um, you know, you know, maybe that Mozambique uh, Kenya game is the one to really watch. Who knows? Uh, maybe Mozambique will come back to win tonight. Maybe we'll, you know, maybe we'll see uh, a little bit more from them in the second half. But but certainly on the evidence of what we've seen so far, uh, it looks like Angola might just uh, have the edge on both of those teams of uh, of. Kenya and, and also this this Mozambique team uh, that being said uh, Senegal did have a hard time with Kenya so Kenya and Angola could also be a real fight uh, that's going to be an interesting one uh, Senegal easily uh, an exciting team to watch under their new coach Boniface Endong but what about this uh, Mozambique team well they, they certainly can't turn the ball over and had they not turned the ball over had they been able to keep their composure uh, they would have been in a lot better shape but especially in that third quarter I think they were trailing by seven points and there were three straight possessions where they turned the basketball over and it led to layups by Angola and they were able to open up uh, a double digit lead and that has that has really been the difference in this game scoring a lot of points off turnovers Mozambique really struggling to score as well so you have to give Angola's defense some credit um, you know maybe, maybe the best is yet to come from Mozambique uh, but they did get 10 points from Manuel and uh, it's possible Maybe maybe we're going to see some pressure by Mozambique and try to see them get out in the open floor and get some easy baskets. Uh, maybe Piu Matos will have more of a of an impact in this game because I know historically he's been an important player for Mozambique, pushing the ball up the floor quickly and what have you. Uh, he hasn't really had much of an opportunity tonight uh, to make that type of difference. Piu Matos. Well, he's played just under 11 minutes. He's got four points, two rebounds. I'd really like to see him try to push it quickly, get a lot of minutes. Uh, but that is coach's decision. They have forced Angola into eight turnovers, uh, but they haven't really uh, turned those turnovers into points. Matos, 29 years of age, 1.93 meters in height. The cow, certainly the, the man of the moment for Angola. Well, Yannick Morea uh, in this game for Angola. It's interesting that uh, one of the uh, for, rather former coaches head coaches are assistants uh, to Jose Neto Annabelle Maria and Victor Carvalho. Yes, 
Second half action underway, folks. If you're uh, just joining us after a halftime tea break or getting a cold drink, it's Angola coming out uh, with a 14 point lead. Here's uh, Mozambique moving around, can't quite get it to fall. And good sportsmanship shown by Moraes there, picking up uh, Mozambique's Inelcio Shire. Remember, this is uh, being played. Uh, with no fans uh, because of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, safety first and uh, it's just good that we're able to have these games. These players all go through testing. And the long shot chase the rebound chase down and just uh, an almighty struggle right now. Kind of missing the three and Elsio Shide trying to get the rebound here. Man, just not able to finish. So the struggles continue offensively for Mozambique. Mundau goes right down the lane, a little bit of uh, air time, hang time. The cow with the rebound. Cipriano misses from three point range. Three point shot, Pio Matos. Now, here he comes again from Dow. And a little bit out of control, charges into Pio Matos. Manuel gets it. Now the outlet pass well read by Mozambique and then they turn it over again. Three on one break. Moraes passes it back and the basket is good. So once again in the open floor that's where Angola have done their damage to Silva. Getting in on the act. And the charge. Into Gakao. Gives it back to Angola. Well, not sure where Elton Obise was going there, but it was pretty obvious uh, he did not have position. Good. It was not a good idea. And that leads to a timeout by Mozambique. Must have been a moving screen, so Angola's attack falters. Yeah, it was on De Silva.
to Matos in the corner. And driving in Canavete, but the ball goes out of bounds. Maybe the Angola defense is, uh, deserves a little more credit than, when I, than uh, what I've been able to give them tonight. Oh, nice little give and go out of bounds. Now Manuel gets it to his teammate, and the three pointer is good by Canavete. Who you can see he's wearing that band-aid after the uh, after the elbow. De Silva. Oh boy, that was silky smooth, wasn't it? That's interesting. There's nothing worse for a team like Mozambique to finally hit a three, only for Angola to go to the other end and hit one. After such a a long struggle. The ball goes out of bounds. Big play by De Silva. And that was De Silva also uh, getting stuck in, trying to to get the rebound. Mozambique have it. Nearly three minutes now. Three minutes into this. Uh, Second half. Manuel. His pass gets away. Cipriano on the break and doesn't go down. This time De Silva called for the hold. It's all De Silva in the third quarter. Melvin De Silva. Just 21 years of age. So the free throws, first one is good. And the second one is good. Will this be it? Yes, it is for Cipriano. Finally rattles one in from three point range. 12 points for the veteran. Ball goes out of bounds. Not much room, but the travel will be called. Just did not look right, did it? Manjate called for the uh, steps. Jeremiah Manjate. Manjate. Here's Moraes. Pulls up and nails it. I mean, what you have to say about him is easily he has looked the part more than anybody tonight when he's on the court offensively especially 
Manuel misses it, and this thing is starting to turn into a rout. The Dow drives in, passes it back outside. Cipriano feeds it. The Silva rebounds the miss. Now three-pointer from Reich. Just when I was building him up, he missed it. Dow forces the turnover. And it leads to an easy one for Cipriano. Who's now got 14, 14 points. And the lead is ballooned to 21. Well, that drive by Canavete. You know, Moraes gets in the lane and he's fouled. Hugo Martis not enamored with the call, but Moraes not sure if he goes over and says something to him. See some of the players uh, wearing the masks over there on the bench because of the uh, coronavirus. Just uh, be extra, extra cautious. And the rule is the assistant coaches have to wear them. Here's Marais. So now Marais goes out, having uh, added to his tally tonight. And we get to see Harrison uh, Gonzalez for the first time. Marais has 13 points in 17 minutes. Good hustle and an easy one for Leno Paolo. And once again, another easy basket. Following a turnover. Of course, it was Paolo that came up with the steal, but it was Hugo Martinez who committed the turnover. De Silva knocks it ahead. Another one off to the races. Angola, good hustle back by Mozambique, and they get the basketball back. Oh, great hustle by Novella. Orlando Novella has been quiet offensively. Here's a nice, impressive drive, and look at that, the follow out of nothing. The dunk by Manjate. Well, they need something, but then right to the other end, Leonel Paolo drills the three-pointer. That's much better for Mozambique. Martins, Hugo Martins driving in. Here's De Silva again. Oh boy, he has got a shot, folks. That's a, I've seen enough. That's two threes for him. He is wide open and he is drilling it. Surely Jose Neto has got to run some plays to get him open. Probably one of the plays of the game, the putback dunk by Manjate. Jeremias Manjate. And Hugo Martinez makes the first. So now he's coming to life, but the problem is for Mozambique is they've had so many struggles, especially offensively. They're trailing 62-38. Too little, too late, perhaps. Well, never say never. But they're being outscored 22 to 12 in this quarter. Now 22 13. 
Valdelito, Joaquin gets it and puts it up and in. And they're telling Valdelito not to interfere with the basketball after it goes in. Watch. He goes in and. Huh. Oh, I can see why he was perplexed. I think the referee must have thought that he hit the ball, but I don't think he did. Manuel gets in and well. Angola. Crafty pass. Playing a little bit better in this second half, Angola. 12 minutes, 8 seconds remaining in the contest. I did expect more from Mozambique tonight. Wonderful drive by Conceição. Here's Paolo in the open floor, 301 break. Oh, give it up, Lionel. Doesn't matter. The Silva's there to tap in the miss. Jean Jacques Concessao, by the way, you know, the father of, uh, of Concessao here in the FIBA Hall of Fame, played for Angola himself. He's an Angola legend. Those are big shoes. That's a tough act to follow. Although we do see it happen a lot in uh, international basketball. Well, had that one gone, that would have been a thing of beauty. Now. Good defense. Ball goes out of bounds. Now a little bit of trash talk here with Novella. And uh, Manjate, Jeremiah Manjate is going to have to dunk it like he did before, or else he's uh, going to give that away. It's interesting watching the, the first game and this game. I mean, it's not even close in terms of Senegal. They have got so many high flyers in their team. So that is going to be a very interesting game against Angola. And Majate. <laughs> A little bit frustrated there, you could see. Takes his time. And makes the first. And makes the second. So it was an unsportsmanlike foul, so they will keep possession. Well, he did give us the offensive highlight of the night with the putback dunk. And now he has got six points. But he's only two of eight from the floor. And Avete turns it over. Leads to another break. And the dunk. Two handed style. And almost another turnover. That was Gonzalez, by the way, who had the dunk. The lightning quick guard. Look at this. I like this guy. I think he's a. I'm surprised he's come in as late in the game as possible. But certainly at the end of the third quarter, it looks like it's all Angola. It is 70 to 43, Angola over Mozambique.
Well, you digest the numbers. Seven threes for Angola, two for Mozambique. A lot more makes inside the arc as well for Angola. Well, enjoy the highlights, folks. Reich, De Silva. Canavete. Silva with 10 points tonight on 4 5 shooting, 2 of 3 from 3 point range. And Marash has 13 points on 5 of 9 shooting and uh, 1 of 5 from deep. But Melvin De Silva. And I mean, Melvin De Silva has been the best three point shooter tonight, really. I mean, Leonel Paolo is only, you know, he's made his only attempt, and Gakao hit one as well. Jose Antonio and Cipriano all have threes, but it, to me, it looks like Melvin De Silva is a pure shooter. I would love to see him get some opportunities. And not just because he's a left hander. He can flat out shoot it. Fourth quarter action underway, but we have stopped play for some reason. Earlier today, Senegal winning at 92 54 in the first uh, FIBA AfroBasket qualifier. Senegal were just. Uh, at times an awesome spectacle in that game but Kenya really had a lot of highlights I mean that that score is harsh on them you know you, you know Kenya I would hope that they would just focus on the first three quarters of that game just don't even waste your time thinking about the fourth quarter you got to you got to take care of the basketball you know they've got some talent they can they can play Kenya I would not write off their chances of making it to the Afro basket. And ignore the score right now on the on the uh, graphic. It's 70 to 43 Angola on top of Mozambique. Well, it's taken a while, but. Otavio Magalizio has come into the game <clears throat> for Mozambique. You see that? Abu Bakar Gakao thinking he's a three point shooter missed it and uh, and he gets down the court the other end and Novella scores. Look at this takes it inside. It's a shame really for Mozambique because really in the last several minutes they've played much better but uh, they've dug themselves such an incredible hole. I guess maybe maybe the Angola defense hasn't been quite as good. Maybe Mozambique trying to get a little bit more in transition. Here's Vadalithia Joaquim. And he gets swatted. Now the baseline and the bump. And Jate. Looks like a little bit of trash talk there from Manjate. Watch this. Manuel has been quiet in the second half. Only got 12 points now. Four of 11. Four of 12, rather. No, four of 11. Joaquim. I'd like to see Vadalithio Joaquim get going. I mean, he's. Looks a little heavier. 
Just double checking and see what he did statistically anyway at the World Cup. Well, he was third in scoring for Angola. Overall, the second efficiency wise, second leading rebounder as well. So could be a little harsh on him. Gonzalez. That was a nice play by Gonzalez. Gonzalez played 14 minutes a game at the World Cup. He didn't really uh, shoot the ball very well. Less than eight minutes remaining. We've got this window and then we've got another window in February when the players will get back together. Here's Valdelithio Joaquim from behind the arc. Well, I guess if you're going to try that, you want to be up big. That's got to be one of the plays of the game right there. It's going to solve this behind the back pass. Continue to struggle to put the basketball in. And going to solve this. Picks up the foul. Joan Lopez Pedro back in the game now. Novella makes the first and makes the second. So now back to a 22 point deficit for Mozambique. Seven minutes remaining. They need to play shut down D here. Get some easy baskets maybe in transition. Three point attempt is good. How about that from Jose Antonio? Well. Maybe he needs to go out and have a little shootout with the Silva. See who wins that. Two lefties. Basketball turned over cheaply. Penetration drive good by Conceição. That's right, he says. That was me. So what was a 22 point game is now a 27 point game with just over six minutes remaining. Mozambique really struggling tonight. That was Abise with that basket. It's a nice finish by Constasau. Joan Lopez Pedro, interesting player as well. You know, these guys have to play together. And some of them do with Petro uh, de Luanda. Here he is again, Jose Antonio.
Three. Wow. Just not much there tonight for Mozambique from a sure thing offensively. Anyway, they get the basketball back with 5.16 remaining. And Angola cruising a 77 52. Well, in this uh, Afro Basket qualifying campaign, the top three teams in each of the groups are going to qualify. And Angola get an easy one there. So really pretty uh, straightforward. Every win important. And it would be tempting to think that really uh, on the on this uh, day's uh, evidence that it's going to be it is definitely going to come down to Mozambique and Kenya. But we'll see how Kenya perform. Uh, when they go up against Angola. We've got five groups. It'll be good to see Tunisia play under uh, new coach Dirk Bowerman. Mario Palma no longer at the helm of there. It'll also be good to see Nigeria play. And obviously the host, Rwanda. I'm excited to see Luol Dean coach tomorrow morning. He'll be coaching South Sudan. And don't forget, actually, Group C got, got underway earlier this year when Cote d'Ivoire won all three of their games and Cameroon finished two and one Equatorial Guinea uh, one, were one and two and Guinea were 0 and three so it was uh, Equatorial Guinea getting that vital win over Guinea and of course Cote d'Ivoire we saw them at the World Cup it's a good team. Jose Neto really one of the good guys. Nice. Very nice man. Good to see him uh, out here coaching. Also be good to see Will Voigt soon on the sidelines as, as soon as possible. Who had been at the helm of Angola. Not sure what the situation is there. Magalithio. Well it's been a long night for that man. Milagre. Well, Angola just going to town right now, leading 81 to 55. And Gerson Gonzalez going to the line. Takes his time. And drills it. He makes both. So five points for him. Coming up on the three minute mark, Pio Matos back in for Mozambique. There's just no real polish on the Mozambique jump shot tonight. I mean, offensively, they just struggle. Good drive again by Gonzalez. And those numbers up.
Pio Matos missing from deep. 240 remaining. And uh, Jose Antonio missing it from deep. Martins tries to make the bounce pass, trying to do something like a basketball play, but the ball is kicked out of bounds. Look at Gonzalez. He's got some moves. We saw the earlier, we saw the behind the back pass. There he kind of faked it. But the question is can he make the basic plays that he has to make? Pedro takes a little bit of a shot. My Hugo Martins short and uh, the challenge from Mozambique is uh, is petering out here down 30 points with two minutes and 15 seconds remaining. So tomorrow Kenya and Angola will play and I'm sure Angola will know that they cannot look past the Morans. They were uh, they looked a little dangerous today to me and it will be Senegal and Mozambique tomorrow as well. Also in the Kigali Arena tomorrow, we'll see Mali and Rwanda, the, the host of this event. So I'm excited about that one. And I'm also excited about Tunisia and Madagascar. Tunisia, the, uh, the reigning champions, but uh, now kind of a, a different dynamic working with the new coach, Dirk Bowerman. Boy, 15 years later, eh? From when Dirk Bowerman coached Germany and Dirk Nowitzki to the uh, to the final of the Eurobasket and Belgrade, what a great coach! And since that point, you know, he's coached Poland uh, outside of you know in terms of international basketball, coached Iran, and now Tunisia. And uh, wow, it'll be exciting to see him in action. And there's great basketball folks that you should be watching international basketball all over in Europe. We've got that coming up. Uh, Asia in the Americas. So 157 remaining and uh, Angola in complete command against Mozambique. It's not a matter of will they win but by how many 85 56. And the fact that they've been able to kind of like open up this lead and, w and, and basically cruise here in the second half it just kind of makes you wonder. Will that help them tomorrow when they take on Kenya? I think so. Oh boy, not in my house. And the turnover. Uh oh, look up ahead on the fast break and the two handed rim rocker hustling down. Joan Lopez Pedro follows up his big swat with a dunk. And again, sloppy ball handling up top, almost another turnover. Joaquin Pedro loses it. And here is uh, flying in uh, Hugo Martins for the easy two for Mozambique.
That was a swat by Joan Lopez Pedro. There he is. And then he got down the court quickly and got the dunk. Well, letting it fly and skimming the outside of the net was Melvin De Silva. He's been sitting too long. Final 20 seconds being played before us. With Hustle, De Silva getting down, looking for the foul called to get some more points, but he's not going to get. He's not going to get the, the free throws. So it looks like uh, they're going to dribble it out. Angola win it convincingly. It was a struggle early, uh, but Mozambique really didn't have much to offer on the offensive end. And when they turned it over, that was the big problem. And there is Joan Lopez Pedro explaining to Canavete he didn't mean to elbow him, which led to the unsportsmanlike foul. And that is what he's going to remember the most from tonight, as well he should. So, final score tonight Angola win it 87 to 58 over Mozambique at the FIBA AfroBasket 2021 qualifying opener for both teams here in the Kigali Arena. Well, pure dominance by Angola in that second half as they win it 27 of 44 overall in the game inside the arc. And just overall, Mozambique actually dominated on the boards, but, or at least out rebounded them 50 to 43. Uh, but Angola with ultimately 14 from Cipriano, 13 from Marais, and 12 from Gacau uh, get the win. Some of the highlights from the second half of this game between Angola and Mozambique. And really it was just one way traffic. Uh, from Angola since probably the three minute four minute mark in the first half. When they started to uh, force some turnovers and get some easy baskets. And Mozambique just never found any type of way to put points on the board. And you got the feeling that Angola can offer a lot more. So, you know, it depends. It remains to be seen if they will uh, if they will grow. Maybe depends on how many minutes uh, Marais gets, for example. Um, but there is some. Uh, some, that was Marais there. There is some excitement in this uh, Angola team uh, with some of the younger guys. And, uh, well, you know, Jose Neto, all credit, giving, uh, giving those young guys some minutes tonight and letting us see what they can do. And I'm speaking about uh, De Silva especially. Looks like he's got some, certainly some potency on offense. They did not have to rely too much on Leno Paolo. Um, Badalithio Joaquim, maybe not quite as dominant as you might expect he could be, but then again, uh, he comes out tonight and finishes with six points. 
Well, he just didn't have a great game, in all honesty, tonight. Three of eight from the floor, the big center, three of seven inside the arc. Four fouls, just one rebound, two assists, and uh, a steal. Did not have a block. So, and he did play uh, 17, almost 18 minutes. So these are the standings in Group B after uh, day one. Uh, not sure what those numbers. They've got the scores in there. Anyway, ignore those. The, the the basic thing is that Senegal and Angola have won their opening games. So Angola win at 87 58 over Mozambique on day one of the FIBA AfroBasket 2021 qualifiers in the Kigali Arena in Kigali Rwanda the capital. And. Looks like our final scores ended up on the other graphic, uh, but it's 87 58 Angola winning and Senegal also winning 92 to 54 over Kenya. So, one last time, again, as you look at some of the plays, 87 58 Angola win it over Mozambique, both they and Senegal. Get off to winning starts on the opening day of the FIBA AfroBasket qualifiers.